Good day from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room on this Tuesday, uh, September 17th, 2013, as a team of flight controllers watches over all of the systems aboard the International Space Station orbiting 260 miles above the Earth. On duty here in the uh, flight control room and overseeing the team uh, throughout uh, much of the daytime hours is Flight Director Tomas Gonzalez Torres. He is uh, watching over this team until uh, late afternoon. He is uh, joined by Hal Getzelman, a veteran uh, spacecraft communicator for the International Space Station team providing the uh, voice that you hear most of the time, the interface between the team here in Mission Control and the crew on board the International Space Station. Uh, the crew uh, is made up of three crew members right now, of course, as the Expedition 37 crew. Uh, Karen Nyberg is serving as one of the flight engineers, along with Luca Parmitano. Uh, those two are supporting uh, science activities in the U.S. segment of the International Space Station which includes uh, uh, three laboratories, the Destiny Laboratory, the um, uh, Columbus Laboratory, and the Kabo module, which is uh, the Japanese complement uh, addition to the International Space Station as well. Uh, overseeing the Expedition 37 crew is uh, Commander Fyodor Yurchikin. He is um, uh, on his fourth flight into space, his third long-duration mission. He served on a uh, shuttle mission, STS-112, and then he served on two expeditions, Expedition 15 and Expedition 24-25. Uh, it's Luca Parmitano's first flight into space. He is the 209th individual aboard the International Space Station. Karen, Karen Nyberg supporting her first long-duration flight. Uh, but she did uh, fly previously on a uh, shuttle mission, STS-124, uh, the flight that delivered that uh, Japanese laboratory, Kibo, the uh, Japanese word for hope, to the International Space Station back in March of 2008. The uh, uh, crew members on board are supporting a number of uh, tasks throughout the day. It's a quite a busy day for the crew. Uh, one of those tasks is to continue with some onboard training uh, associated with uh, the uh, arrival, grapple, and berthing of the uh, upcoming uh, Cygnus uh, cargo vehicle that will be delivered to the International Space Station at the end of the week, uh, following hopefully a safe uh, launch on Wednesday. Uh, Parmitano and, and Nyberg have been training with the station's robotic arm to uh, test some offset grapples that they could uh, encounter to uh, see how they can handle that through the robotic workstation on the station as well. Uh, they're using the uh, Leonardo um, permanent multi-purpose modules grapple fixture as a target uh, throughout that training. Additionally, the uh, Crew members, uh, particularly um, Karen Nyberg, has been working in the fluids uh, integrated rack on the uh, station in the uh, microgravity sciences glove box to uh, set up for some experiment work associated with uh, the uh, advanced colloids experiment. The um, rack that uh, she had to work in uh, has to be rotated and uh, repositioned uh, so that she can... Uh, set up uh, for the uh, uh, payload activity, which is uh, upcoming. And additionally, the crew members uh, have spent uh, a good deal of time in the first part of uh, their day uh, supporting some periodic uh, ocular health uh, training, uh, taking um, the, basically the pressure, uh, measuring the pressure periodically in their eyes, as well as, um, as well as uh, taking turns uh, working with uh, the uh, uh, training with the ocular tonometry uh, instrument, which essentially is a, a procedure uh, that's used to uh, determine that intraocular pressure of the eyes. So uh, a good deal of time working with uh, that as well for the crew members uh, on board. In addition to that, uh, obviously uh, on board, uh, 
uh, routine maintenance uh, activities aboard the station, uh, but the crew members are greatly anticipating the uh, uh, launch uh, of the newest cargo module to the International Space Station scheduled for Wednesday. They'll end their day as usual with a uh, discussion with all of the teams on the ground associated with what's been going on throughout the day and then uh, head to bed about 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, they'll wake up about 1 o'clock uh, Wednesday morning to uh, follow along with the ground on all of the uh, countdown activities associated with the uh, Orbital Sciences Corporation's Antares rocket delivering Cygnus to the International Space Station.